Today's video is going to be a morning routine, spring morning routine, productive morning routine, something along those lines. Um, I just woke up. It's like late in the morning, like nine o'clock. So slept in, that's for sure, but Matt was off work today, so he slept in, so I wanted to sleep in as well with him. But yeah, that's what today's video is going to be. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below it means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel and the first thing i normally do when i wake up in the morning is obviously go to the bathroom and so i already done that kind of climb back in bed now i'm just kind of laying here chilling but the dogs are probably pretty upset that they're already you know it's like nine o'clock they've not been let out so that's the next thing I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to kind of make the bed and then we'll go get the ducks. row one that I wear every morning. Now we're gonna go let the dogs out. Good morning. Good morning. Oh goodness, come on. Very hyper. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, go. Come on, Willow. Yeah, come on. Very hyper in the mornings, huh? Come on. Come on. Let's go potty. Can mom throw the frisbee? Whee! Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right, guys, now that the dogs are let out, they're running around like crazy even though I'm playing even though I literally let them play for a little bit I'm getting them some water filled up over there and then once that's taken care of I can start doing my morning routine all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and get changed all right I've got this workout tank on a little hoodie tied around my waist in case it gets chilly and then some leggings because we're gonna go on a walk in a little bit all right guys, so now that I've gotten changed and ready for the day, my hair kind of looks wild. It's time for me to kind of do my morning skincare routine and kind of get ready for the day for myself since I've already taken care of the dogs. And I want to thank Dime Beauty for sponsoring this part of today's video. So Dime Beauty offers luxury skincare, beauty and wellness products at an affordable price. They also use clean ingredients, which are vegan, cruelty-free, and have no harsh chemicals. Most of these products are also safe to use while pregnant. Obviously, always consult your doctor before using any sort of beauty product while you're pregnant, but for the most part, Dime Beauty products should be safe to use during that time of your life. Dime Beauty also uses eco-friendly glass-based like packaging. So this is one of my products I have and 
It's completely glass, which is awesome and so good for the environment. I am someone who has always struggled with my skin and I've been using these products for over a month now and my skin is looking really awesome. I've got some scarring here, but for the most part, these products have been amazing for my skin. One thing that I really love about Dime is that their products are fragrance free. For someone like me who has really fair and sensitive skin, the like smallest amount of fragrance or anything like that like flares my skin up. So with Dime, it's nice to know that I don't have to worry about that problem. Another great thing about Dime is that they offer free shipping to the U.S. with any orders over $49 and they also have a return guarantee up to 60 days. So yeah, I've been using the skincare package. So I'm gonna kinda show you guys what I've been using and also wash my face at the same time. So I'm going to put my hair in a scrunchie. Okay, so let me get my products. All right guys, so I've got their skincare bundle and I use them day and night, but I have some different products that I incorporate depending on if it's day or night. So the first thing I always do and start with is the Gentle Jelly Cleanser. So I cleanse with this first, and then I follow that with the Super Skin Toner every like morning and night. And then in the morning time, then I follow in with the Hyper Glow. Makes my skin super glowy and perfect when I'm about to put makeup on. Then I do, depending on the day, sometimes I don't use this always, but I have the Super Firm serum super great awesome love that product and then always follow everything up with the dewy day cream so this is like the moisturizer so and then at night i'll do the cleanser and the toner and then i follow everything up with the hot i'm gonna butcher this name hyaluronic acid serum whatever that's called so i do that and then i do the restorative night cream and then after that at night, I do the Luminosity Eye Serum, followed by the Dime Beauty Eyelash Boost Serum. I love this product because it's super affordable compared to other lash serums on the market, and I've definitely noticed a difference, and it doesn't change your eye color or any of those negative side effects that some lash serums on the market have been known to have. So I'm super duper loving this product, but I only apply it at the nighttime. So I'm gonna get to washing my face, and I'll be right back. So now that I've washed my face, I'm going to put on the toner. I actually recently ran out of cotton pads and I haven't gotten to the grocery store yet. So normally you would use this on a cotton pad, but now that I don't have that, I just let it go on my face and then I pat it in. So don't use this like this, but this is what I do when I'm out of a cotton pad. I just kind of drip it on my face and just rub it in you'd normally like this to like use the cotton pad to soak this into your skin because using your hands it's like soaking it into your hands as well but like I said I'm out of those and then after that I'm gonna go in with the hyper glow I'm not gonna use the super firm today because I used it yesterday actually and I don't like to use it every single day. I'm gonna go in with this, it's like a dropper type and just put a little drop here, drop there and on my forehead. And I go in and rub this in. I love these products because it makes my skin feel so soft, so smooth, and also, like I said, you know, it's really helping with my acne and stuff, so it's giving me the confidence to, you know, go about my day without any makeup on, which is super nice. So that's on, and then now I'm just going to follow up and finish off with the Dewy Day Cream. I love their moisturizers. I find that they leave my skin feeling so soft. I just am obsessed. Then I'll work it down my neck as well. It's really important to work your moisturizer down your neck as well. All right, so that is my skin. You can see how like glowy that um, dewy glow cream like left my skin. I love it. I used to be really into like matte skin 
and stuff like that but now I'm really getting into like dewy skin like um with makeup I'm also getting into the like cream products so especially now that we're transitioning from winter to the spring and summertime one your skin's gonna get dry because you're out in the sun but two like dewy skin is super duper in that's why I love the hyper glow because like I said it just gives my skin such a pretty finish so that is going to be all for my morning skincare if you guys want to check out Down's products I highly recommend them like I said clean and cruelty free no fragrances and luxury products for like half the price so really been impressed and I'm loving the way that dime products are making my skin look so I highly recommend them I will leave a link down below in the description box with the code for you guys to check out dime for yourselves like I said highly recommend it I'm loving these products and I definitely don't plan on stopping using them anytime soon so now that I'm done with that I'm gonna brush my teeth real quick and we're gonna get on with the rest of my morning all right guys now that I have brush my teeth, brush my hair, wash my face, and got changed and dressed ready for the day. I am going to go make me some breakfast. The dogs have been playing and hanging out. Literally they're like, look at how dewy my skin looks. I'm obsessed with those products, you guys. So I'm going to make myself some breakfast before we go on our daily walk. I'll explain a little bit about that here in a second, but real quick, let's make breakfast. super into Greek yogurt lately, the vanilla blend. So I'm gonna do this in a bowl with some strawberries. I think they're almost bad, but I might be able to salvage a few. And then some dark chocolate granola. So that's what we're doing for breakfast today. Also, this is the kind of granola I like, the dark chocolate, but I'm almost out of it, so. I like to start by putting the yogurt in a bowl. The dogs are all below me, like smelling the heck out of this. Just give it a stir. Yogurt used to like freak me out. Like I used to hate the idea of yogurt, but now I'm obsessed. And look, sometimes I like to do this one yogurt. I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> Look it. Look it. Look, here comes Jagger. Look it, bub. Ah, ah, do not eat that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. I've got my yogurt. I cut up strawberries. We didn't have many, but enough for a little bit. So, I put those in there. And then I'm going to top it off with my Granola, which once again, I'm almost out of it. So, this is what my breakfast looks like. Really yummy. And then I'm going to grab some orange juice and eat this while I get some computer work done. Like I said, this is the time that I sit down and eat my breakfast, but I also get in front of the computer and answer any emails that I have, especially ones that require a response immediately or that are important and get all my emails done for the day if I can. And then if I don't have a bunch of emails and things like that, I'll watch a YouTube video or something just to kind of start my morning. So I'm going to cut you guys off and eat my breakfast and scan the internet, do what I need to do on here, and then I'll catch with you guys after. All right guys, so I finished my breakfast and I already washed off my dish and everything because I was on the phone with my sister Allie talking to her for a second. So now I am going to take all the dogs out and get their food, like breakfast, ready for the morning besides the poodles because I have, I told you guys, I was going to explain this to you guys here in a little bit, but basically what I've been wanting to start doing is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 
I take two different dogs on a walk in our town ordinance. So basically, we live out in the country, and like you guys see, we do pack walks all the time, things like that, but it's been really hard for me to kind of get out of a slump lately and just not feel like motivated to do things, and I thought that maybe getting out of the house would really help with that. Um, so I started this on Wednesday, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm gonna take two different dogs on a walk to the town. It's only like an eight minute drive to town anyway, and they've got nice sidewalks. It gets the dogs out of the house and exposed to new things, but also it's gonna get me out of the house and let me like just have a break, I guess you could call it, even though I'm technically still gonna be like working the dogs on their walk and different things like that. So that's what I've been wanting to start doing. So I started on Wednesday with Ellie and Harlow and the poodles are up Friday. So I thought about doing like Indian Jagger on Monday, Harlow and Ellie on Wednesday and then the Poodles on Friday. Poodles and I are about to head to town and do their walk, but first I'm going to feed and put all the other dogs up. All right guys, I went ahead and fed everyone. So the Poodles are in there eating. And I thought while they ate, I could get all my stuff together for our walk. Um, I do feed the dogs like very little in the mornings. They get their main meal like in the afternoon time, if you could say that, or like dinner time. So I'm gonna grab my things for my walk and I'll show you guys what I'm taking. All right, so first thing I'm taking is this leash. This is a hands-free leash. So one of them will go on this leash and the other one will go on like a hand leash. Um, I do have an extender for this one. I could bring that, but I think I'm just gonna do it like that. So I've got this leash and then I'll grab this leash, I think. Well, let's see which one I've got. That one's got a hook back on it and I don't need that. Um, I'm going to be bringing this bag right here. It's the Boho and Bark walk bag because I just put it across my chest like this and it can hold treats it can hold like my phone it can hold my car keys so and it's got food bags so super convenient i love this for walks um so there's that i'm just gonna put my phone there for now so i'll have this and then i thought about bringing some treats so these are some of the treats i just ordered i haven't tried them yet but they are freeze dried chicken and freeze dried liver treats so super excited to use these i think they're gonna be like the dogs are really gonna like them and then I also have these puppy bike treats as well. So I'm gonna pop a few of those in the bag. They filled this one up yep. so much. Holy crap. This one is filled to the little like, tippity top. Okay, let's dump a few of these in there. Okay, I'm just gonna do the um, fried chicken like look how like not full the beef is like there's the beef okay there's the chicken you see how different they are that's kind of this is a lamb and salmon so i'm gonna throw these in here as well and then these are a little bit bigger so what i'll do is when i go to use these i'm just gonna break them in half and use those so got my treats it's got this super duper nice like just do like that and so the treats don't fall out. So I've got the bag. Leash number one. I've got to go check in my car. We can go check. I'm going to go check in my car to see if the, um, what's it called? The other leash is in the car. It also feel to see. Okay, it's like kind of cold. Like I thought it was going to be warmer than it is right now. But like I'm kind of shivering. So I might be throwing my jacket on and then taking off once I get hot. Like when you're in the sun, it's warm, but I'm kind of cold. Okay, yeah, I've got my other leash that I like in here as well. So I'll just throw this one in the corner. And I'm going to go get the dogs and put them up. And then we will get going. As you can tell, they are very excited. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Let's go. And the dogs. Look, they're going to go straight to the car and jump in. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Go. So 
job. All right, guys, I have made it to my mom's house. So my mom actually lives in town, like the town area. So I just park at her house. I'm just getting my bag ready with my phone in there. I'm going to take my keys off my keychain and leave my keychain in here, but take my keys and put them in my bag. And then we're gonna get started. So the girls are back there, as you can see, and it's time for our walk. All right, guys, we just got back in the car. Definitely broke a sweat. We did like two laps. I didn't wear my Apple Watch, so I'm not really sure how many miles we did, but the girls were breathing heavy and definitely tired. They did a pretty decent job. Um, Will and I have a little bit of reactivity um, just because they grew up on a farm. They didn't really grow up seeing a bunch of different people in cars, so something we're working on, but they both did pretty good overall. I was pretty pleased with, you know, how long it's been since they've been out and stuff, so. We're heading back home and it's already like 12, so basically the morning is over. But once I get home, let the dogs out, I'll go ahead and end this vlog. Come on, girls, we're home. All right, guys, so like you saw, we're home now. So Matt and I are about to head to Hickory together to enjoy a little lunch date since it's super pretty outside today. And then I've actually got a rehearsal dinner tonight for a wedding I'm working tomorrow. But that's basically the end of today's video, my morning routine, and kind of the different type of routine I'm trying to get into lately with the dogs, with walking them more often, and also just being more productive in general. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to check out Dime. I'll leave a link down below. You guys should get your hands on those products. I promise you won't regret it. I'm obsessed with the products that I have, and I know that you guys will be too. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>